What's going on, everyone? Stealth Wolf here. Yes, I am back with uh, with 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 the EGX 2024. We got the news. We got the news of the date and everything like that. So I'm not gonna waste any more of your time because I've got opinions afterwards. The date is the 25th, the 26th, and the 27th of October this year. That is EGX 2024. The tickets go on sale on the 27th of May. EGX is now powered by TikTok for, I think, this year. I think I mentioned that last year that they've got like three years. So this is their second year. Then next year will be their third year. And then they might continue that. They might go back to Virgin, blah, 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 whatever. There is also the thing of the date being the 25th, 26th and 27th of October is to join the EGX cross mcm comic-con at the london xl on the 25th 26th and 27th of october this year and that that's that that's that that's that's the information that is all the information so if you're only here for the information uh that's what i've got i'll be there obviously Let's get into the opinion bit. Why? 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 I've had to take my glasses off and I'm rubbing my eyes for this. Why have EGX and Comic Con doing, doing like combined sort of takeover of the XL one ticket two shows? Yes. Okay, that's a good thing. All right? You get one ticket. You know, you get into AGX and MCM. Usually, uh, MCM is like a week or two weeks. Like, the one later on in the year is like a week or two two weeks after um, EGX. I think it was last year as well. Um, so, it, it kind of makes sense combining the two because they're at the same place. It's kind of the same vibe-ish. However, if you're a fan of EGX like I am, and you're a bit like, eh, about uh, MCM, then this is a massive downgrade for EGX fans. First of all, you may have noticed that I said the 25th, 26th, and 27th of October. That's three days. EGX usually gets four days. Gets Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. MCM only gets three days, the Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So instantly, people who love EGX are getting one day less of the event. Now, okay, you might be saying, well, you know, like people rarely go for the Thursday kind of thing. Because that's still kind of like, you know, that's still during the week kind of thing you know it's not like a friday it's not a saturday and it's not a sunday kind of thing you know saturday and sunday they're kind of like the popular days the friday is kind of like the early day if you've managed to get that for you know kind of duh, duh, duh. you know but thursdays thursday for me right for egx was always the opportunity to go around look what's there kind of gauge what you want to do what it you know what is there what's coming up what you what you can do what kind of like top, little extra activities as well that there is to do such as the egx gauntlet as well as uh you know sort of just seeing like seeing the entire thing seeing the entire venue seeing what's there and sort of you know you know sort of checking out some of the things that you're you know it it, it was a good kind of thing it was quiet and it wasn't a short day. You know, Fridays and Saturdays are already kind of like really popular days. Saturday, really popular day. But the Thursday was this kind of like chill. You go in. Yeah, okay, some things might be more kind of like, oh, it's a Friday from, yeah, starting from Friday kind of thing. But now, you, d you don't get that Thursday. We're not getting that Thursday this year. This is one of the worst things to happen to EGX since EGX got rid of EGX Res earlier on in the year. Yes, I know there's a slight replacement, but 
that's neither here nor there. So another negative, right? So uh, I don't know if I mentioned it previously, but I went to MCM May, MCM Comic Con in London in May last year. First time I've ever gone to Comic Con. Tickets were outrageously expensive for what it was and for what I actually did there and what I wanted to do there. Um, and it, 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 it was overcrowded for the Saturday, definitely. The Friday was busy, the Sunday was busy, but the Saturday was overcrowded to hell. Um, from what I got from everyone else was a lot of the security was a lot of security and the event staff and everything was terrible. And the fact that you couldn't like if you left the main XL building to go outside to the outside area that was st you still had to have an uh, an Comic Con ticket for you still had to have like the little lanyard thing. To go into this area, even though it's outside of the convention hall, where the only security guards there were to make sure that you had a lanyard ticket to get in and leave that area. So what the what? But once you got out of the EGX building, the entire convention center. You then had to go round parking slash catering slash where all the lorries and everything go to get back in, which was a good 15 minute walk because you had to essentially go from the front of the XL to the back of the XL down the side so they'd let you back in. So then you could be back into the building rather than just letting you back through the front because that was an exit only for some reason. Who decided that nonsense? Who decided that? You there, there was a thing where you could get in one side. I think on Friday you could get on the right side which will get you straight in. But that immediately changed kind of thing and that was meant to be for sort of like uh, like I, I, I don't even know what that was for what they changed it for afterwards they, they just stopped letting people in that way so that was terrible um this isn't a review of mcm but it was just you know not great they're you know like yeah okay i've gone to megacon kind of thing but like I go round all the stalls and everything. If the if the entire place is because I because I've finally gone to the NEC in Birmingham, and that is way better. So I may be going to MCM for that one because it seems like it'd be a massive, sort of massive halls and everything, which which is weird because I like the XL, but yeah, the XL is a bit smaller than the NEC, but yeah, whatever. Um. Yeah, so having, yeah, okay, Have, having the tickets being oversold and everything that they did for MCM, and they constantly keep doing for MCM apparently, um, especially in the UK, and they do it in the UK for, uh, for our events, that's a bit, but um, yeah, so that's not good news for EGX, because EGX, it does get busy. It's never fully packed to the point of, you know, if you're going around all the merch stands, or you're going around sort of like the the left field collection, or the, um, or the resed sessions section in the EGX, uh... It, you know, you you never like squished, and it just this this just just it's just a terrible decision. I don't like it, and yeah, like okay, yeah, it's great that you can buy what, but that basically means right that if you're an EGX fan, 
I buy weekend tickets, four days of EGX for about seventy-five pounds for a week for a weekend, right? It's about that much, right? I think I think the twenty twenty-three was seventy-five pounds. Comic Con for three days last year, I believe, was seventy-five pounds as well in May, and then it was a hundred pounds in October last year and then also the one in May this year I think is about £100 for a weekend ticket so again you love EGX and you go to EGX like I do now every year kind of thing, you're going to be paying more for a ticket because it's got, it's got to account into fact MCM as well so, I'm going to be paying more for less days. Oh, but there's another thing. Right, but... Like... It, it, do you not... Have you not heard and seen the problems with MCM? And everyone having the problems with MCM and everything like that? Why would you combine the two? Oh, yeah, because they're under the same parent company. The fucking Reed Pop. <sighs> There's just, like, the, the only good thing that is coming to EGX, right, and it's purely just for me at this point, this is the only positive, right, is that while I go to EGX, I can go and see cosplayers that I look up to and, you know, sort of look up to and enjoy and everything like that. I can go up to them as well, because I've always been saying, hey, cosplayers, but please, please. Please come to EGX because there is cosplay masquerade stuff. There's cosplay stuff. There's a lot of gaming sort of more related cosplay. But there's, you know, there's always a ton of anime stuff as well. And pop culture stuff, movies, films, TV shows. Um, and it just kind of sucks that, you know, obviously no cosplayers go to EGX because obviously MCM is later. And now, obviously, you know, hey, cosplayers, can you shut up out there? Cosplayers will be at EGX, technically. But that that's the only positive that I'm getting from this. I'm losing a day to EGX, which... Like, I, like if, 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 if you're someone like me, right, who gets kind of like... Like, you know, you, you get overwhelmed in... You know, sort of big at uh, big conventions. I've, you know, it's kind, of, it's, it's kind of like why, you know, why, like I, I, I spread out my time over those four days because I go right. This is here. This is here. I can go this, this, and I can kind of like you know just take a minute. You know, I don't have to constantly be switching games or anything. And you know, on certain days when it's, uh, you know, like more relaxed i can you know take my time with the game i don't have to but now it kind of seems like it's just all going to be it's just gonna, it, it, it's 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 just it's just a mistake and uh i'm annoyed i am annoyed i i'm still going i just because I, I like I I I I, I, I debated before because I am part cosplayer, part cosplayer. Um, they're like if I could get uh, a gaming cosplay made before EGX, I might take it to EGX. This gaming related one, be like, oh, you know, that'd be quite fun to do. And at every every cosplayer will know, right, that when you're in cosplay. Especially if you're in, you know, kind of like, you know, sort of a bigger cosplay and kind of or more popular cosplay or, you know, like a more sort of impressive looking cosplay, then you aren't going to have much time to do your own thing around the convention. You know, people are going to be stopping you, asking you for uh, pictures all the time. You, if, if you're in a certain sort of like big outfit kind of thing. You're not going to be able to kind of like walk around sort of freely uh, in terms of 
it, you know, in, in just terms of sort of just like thing, you know, just sort of merch stands being, you know, kind of close together sometimes. You don't want to knock people's stuff over. You're not going to be able to get like proper looks at like merch and stuff. So what you're going to be doing is you're kind of going to be just going around sort of the outside bits, the bits that aren't heavily populated because of all the merch and stuff. And it's all kind of the stuff that's, you know, sort of like the, the bits outside to get, you know, your pictures, your videos and sort of everything like that. So it's, you, you go in cosplay. That this having one less day for EGX also then means that you know you got one less day at EGX. And I know I'm saying this from EGX because no one, no one gets excited about MCM. <laughs> no one gets excited about MCM because of all. The terrible stuff like it, it, it's not even stuff they do for cosplayers and the people that go just to enjoy mcm it's also you know the merch tables and stuff because then you you get you get the you get you always get like the pop culture stuff it's like it's like oh yeah here's the pop culture stuff with you know back to the future stuff that i always see constantly oh it's fucking you know joker and it's all, all this other, you know, just, like, films and TV shows and stuff, and I'm like, eh, it's kind of not really, kind of like, eh. And it's always Marvel and fucking DC and stuff like that, and I'm just like, it's boring. And then you go to EJX and it's the same crap as well, but, like, at fucking MCM, it's like, they kick sort of, like, smaller, you know, people who make the merch and everything like that, all the, you know, they, they, they just kind of go, well, no. We've got someone else who who can do kind of thing like you got like to everyone who knows or is a fan of my hero, my hero academia. When you've gone to MCM and you see the big shirt stand, the big it's massive, like easily like four tables long of a shirt stand. They got Funko Pops and they got G Fuel behind the behind the tables with all the shirts on and the only my hero academia shirt they have is the like the poster one that's like yellow background and all the characters on it i want different my hero academia stuff than that and like the funko pops i want kind of more unique stuff who's going to give me more unique stuff oh my god all the smaller tables out there that MCM Comic Con are saying no to and are rejecting because they go, oh, we need bigger tables for these people. Is that going to be better because of it? No, it's not going to be better because of EGX. It, it's just a massive downgrade for EGX. It's unfortunate. And I... I... <sighs> Uh, I guess I, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to see how much the tickets are, because they haven't released any prices or anything like that, but if you go by MCM May ticket prices, which, 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 which I still find a bit fucking funny, it's like, oh yeah, we're going from four days to three days, and we might be getting charged MCM Comic Con ticket prices for EGX, great. Or it might even be even more because it's like, oh, it's two shows. You get one ticket, two shows. Uh, it needs to be more. Impre-. It's like, no, I'd rather just pay for EGX. I don't care that MCM Comic Con is there. I'd rather just pay for EGX. The four days of EGX, just give me that. I don't care for MCM. I didn't care much for it before I went there for the first time. And then experiencing it along with everyone else constantly saying the same things year after year. Yeah, no. I don't want MCM. I want EGX. I don't care. Give me EGX. Give me the games. I don't care about anything else. Give me EGX, please. Thank you everyone for listening. I will be bringing up more. 
stuff for EGX. So, subscribe for more EGX 2024 content. Peace out.